Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Sorry for some delay with the technical report. Uh, let's take a look at the gold market. So today, uh, as usual, we have prepared the fundamental analysis on gold. And I think it uh, has appeared to be interesting just because we have taken a look at the major factors why gold currently is going higher, despite that we have some pressure from the interest rates, uh, from the rising of the United States dollar, Gold market just overcome these headwinds and just keep going. So, and uh, as you will see in our analysis, it's not only some obvious things, such as some difficulties in the United States economy or some problems with the United States debt that starts actually appearing massively in the reports in the media. So there are some specific issues stand behind the rising of the gold, which we think might be even more important. So, and we have decided uh, today just to take in depth view on these major driving factors, just to bring some foundation on the background. Because uh, personally, I saw a few times in the, on the, even in the Bloomberg articles where the professionals asking, so that it is actually not logic. So gold should not rise together with the dollar. It's probably a temporal effect and something should happen. We do not understand why it's going, why it's happening. So another stuff. At the same time, we have taken a look at the sentiment as usual in market overview that, uh, well, it shows a bit na naive view of the market that there are two are stubborn in the expectation of the Fed rate card. They're too stubborn with uh, this, some kind of them, too simple view on the gold performance. So they're, they're just related to the same uh, well-known factors that actually now are becoming not the major ones. And uh, we think that this is another really big important moment that could let gold to high, to move even higher because market in general do not expect it. As yesterday we have discussed the situation in the United States economy from the employment point of view and we said that market totally wrong in the assessment current of the employment and overall situation in the United States economy. And that really could become the really uh, the really big driving factor for dollar, for example. The same we could say about gold. So um, hopefully you will find it interesting. By taking a look at the technical side here, it's not as interesting as the fundamental side, just because markets stand overextended and uh, to the upside, which bring really significant problems for the trading process, at least on the daily and high time frames, on the weekly chart, on the monthly chart. But this is only the half of the problem. The second half of the problem is that gold currently is uh, driven by absolutely non-market factors. Some not natural market factors, but absolutely different external factors. Other words speaking, it ignores the technical signals. And this is the area where the decision making on the trading is coming to some personal moment. So I could say from the technical rules that you should not buy gold at the current point, at least if you trade on the daily and weekly and higher time frames, and you have to wait for a pullback. Uh, but this is only from technical rules. I am telling you how it should be. But your personal decision will be either to take the risk of the buying gold at ever bought hoping that it uh, will keep going higher. This decision might be a bit more simple if you're buying for investing in a wealth preservation, or it might be a bit more difficult if you're buying it 
taking this risk for training purposes, for speculative purposes. For speculative, it is, well, more tricky. So uh, that's why we are following with the just technical rules and tell you that currently on the daily chart and, and above, we suggest it makes sense to wait for retracement, for more pullback. Uh, if you search chances for a good, correct process of the position taken. Uh, despite that, we've got, as you can see on Friday, reversal here, it's a sharp bullish reversal performance. Market stands at ever bad on the daily, on the weekly, and on the monthly chart. And that's why on the daily we could specify, we, we have no bearish patterns by far. Market not at some target. So currently we're considering the narrative between 2455, 2560 uh, area is a range of the nearest targets. What particular targets you could read in the report because all of them stands on the high time frames. So we have no bearish context and that's uh, bearish patterns. And that's why here we could specify only the level that we could be interested in if retracement still starts. This level stands around 22, 2250. Why this is the only level that we're considering? Because levels below it stands on the daily ever sold, which is in the current circumstances hardly will be complete. Levels that stand higher are not interesting just because they are too close to the ever extended market. Although theoretically you could consider just for the purpose of the partial entry. But mostly we're watching for this level. That's what we could say only on a daily chart. On the lower time frames, approximately the same picture on the full time frame chart. Hand and shoulders market has confirmed hand and shoulders failure pattern that we discussed. If you remember, as we said, market will come to the 23. This will be a clear signs of the failure. You could consider taking long position in this case. And as you can see what has happened even up to the 23. It just jumped right to the 23, 30, 23, 35 another 30 bucks to the upside so but mostly this bullish pattern is already is done we do not have anything new so on the form time from chart it's also actually nothing to consider and it means that currently you have only single option if you want for more uh, quality setups for the trading you have to wait wait for appearing some patterns maybe retracement or something what I call as a quality background. So where you have the clear patterns, it's, it looks a bit uh, more clear. You know what on rely or on rely to, um, or you you could trade the trend direction. Although we are not considering taking long position on the daily time frames and high time frames on the lower time frames on intraday charts, this is possible. And a common strategy of the dealing in a such situation where market stands at ever bottom on the high time frames, but you would like to buy, it stands uh, with this following framework. You watch for minor dips to the predefined FIB levels, for example, on the hourly chart. You could see two levels, 23, uh, 20, uh, 23 or 6, 22.90 is confidence area. It's around previous top also, this level stands. You are watching for it. For instance, market reach it. If you would like to, you could drop your time frame more, for example, to the five minute chart and start watching for bullish reversal patterns around it. Once it, you will find it and you decide that this is normal, acceptable entry background, you're taking the long position, placing corresponding spot uh, for a stop, either based on the pattern or just below the next level, which is a bit more simple. And you have to out at the previous stop when the market hasn't struggled with our body again, because the level that has been achieved doesn't demand some struggle for the market. It could freely reach it again. And that's the uh, major core, the, the reason for, for of this overall strategy that you're out at the previous stop. Because market stands overextended, you are not taking the bet that market will break the overbought. This is the another way how you could try to deal with the gold market if you would like to. That's actually all that we have here. Let's see what will happen 
the whole world will be watching for a period after the Ramadan where the um, Iran actually could could make the response to the Israel. We suggest that it probably will happen after 10th of the April, if it will happen at all, because previously it's already uh, was happening, but, but the response from the Iran was not as uh, really very strong. But this time may be different, I do not know, but we suggest that it could happen, if it will happen at all, at the second half of the next week, after the 10th of the April. That's what market will be watching for. Second, uh, we're coming to the inflation reports in the United States gradually and see what will happen with the new data on inflation. That's mostly all that we could say currently about the coal market.